I think the first thing we'll do is just to go around everybody and see if there's any questions that need to be addressed before we do anything else. Okay. So if you, if guys, if you've got a question, can you please put your hand up in the? Yeah, Karen's Karen's done just that. So I'm going to ask you to unmute. And if you put your hand up in the reactions at the bottom, uh, that means that I can uh, I can add you as a spotlight like that. Hello, ladies. Hello, okay, so now that I have finally have the correct pattern, hey. <laughs> um, I'm on page four, and about, I'm just starting the thumb gossip, but I decided to do the no initial so I could at least catch up to where some other people might be this week. Mm -hmm. But in reading the instructions at the top of page four, when I'm done at, end, at the end of page three, I have 81 stitches because I did one increase in the second round of the black. And then it says move stitches from needle two to needle one so that all 33 stitches are now uh, on needle one, but then in brackets, it's got 31 white and one black, but that's only 32. If, if, you're, so not, if you're not doing an initial, you don't need to, you just disregard that bit. Oh yeah, but like in the future, I'd like to do initials. So all I right. just, so I'm thinking, okay, where's the one stitch I'm missing? Right, hang on you just a minute so I get the pattern. Okay. Are you enjoying it, Karen? Is yes, yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Um, on the oh, on yes. round three on the thumb gusset. Oh, great. Great, well done. I skipped the cuff because I did the cuff on the other version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> You'll have lots of bits of gloves everywhere around the house. One black stitch at each end. Right. Go, go over that again, Karen. I've now got the pattern here. Okay, so on the top of page four, yes. I should be starting with 81 stitches. Yes. But then when I, when I count it, I'm only getting 80 because it says 33 stitches. But then in brackets, they got 31 white and one black. But that only equals 32 stitches. So I'd be back down to 80 stitches. And one black at each end of the needle. Oh, okay. Okay. That, that makes more sense. Okay. The, I don't know why I didn't understand that part. Okay. Yeah. And um, then I just wanted to make sure that where it says in round one and round two, right underneath that, that first paragraph, it says knit one B. So that's just referring to the knit one black. It's not referring to the increase one black. No, will no. the INC always be in front of the, the one black when we have yes. the Yes. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. That was it. Hmm. Okay. That's good. That's good. Thank you. It helps when you've got the right, right um, pattern, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, thanks, Karen. Um, Linda, I'm going to come to you now. Linda Wallace, hello. Uh, hello. hello. Um, I think I know the answer to this before I start, but I've actually managed to finish the glove. Oh, well done. Oh, good. I, I know, I'm absolutely delighted. Yes. I've finished it. But is there any way of Increasing the size of the fingers because the two the index finger and the thumb are fine, but the next three are all you know out to here on me, and that happens with most gloves. Mm -hmm. But I assume that because you want them all to look the patterns all to look the same, you can't reduce the size you, of the you, fingers. You could reduce the size on, on the middle one, particularly. I think you do three rounds before you start your decreases. Right. You could start your decreases right away. And right. That, would, that would take three or four rounds off the length oh. of that. And it's the right. same for the other two uh, fingers that you have a problem with. Right. I mean, they just it just looks a bit, you know, I find gloves are like that, that they're too, these fingers are too, too big for me. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But I thought you would want to keep the squares, each of the things the same. <laughs> If you complete the squares and mm -hmm. then start your decreases immediately after that, right, it still right. keeps the squares, but it, you'll reduce your, it your just, the length of your fingers by about three or four rounds. Right, that's fine. Obviously, it, I'm not going to do it with these because <laughs> it's finished. <laughs> <laughs> I know it. I know it's not ideal. It knocks the balance off slightly. But yeah. who's going to know? No. No, nobody's oh, going to know unless gonna... you tell them. And yeah. if you're wearing them, 
if people if people notice that they're looking too close now. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> 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 too many mistakes. And can you remind me, please? Maybe somebody else about this. Um, I haven't pressed it yet because I for, I know you said about um, folding in these ones. What did you say about the thumb? The, the thumb. If you take it, if you look towards the back of your of your glove. Yep. If you, I'll, I'll spread this one out. You see how there's two two patterns together there. If you look at the back of your, mm -hmm. your glove, mm -hmm. you'll find that there's two two squares together that are the same. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, yes. Well, mm -hmm. on the thumb, fold it in the one that's actually on the thumb. Right. Fold it in and then take it right to the top. The sort of inside one when you're holding it. It, it, it will actually lie to the outside of, of the glove. It will lie right. to the outside. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. it, it'll lie down the side. Right. 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 Yeah. Right. So it's, it's going in. Yes. On the outside of the glove. Yes, like an inverted feet. Right. Yes. Right. And then like it'll that. lie flat against the, the body of the glove. Right. So does it divide right down to the gusset? Yes. Fold it right down to the yes. ear. Come to come to a little point at the bottom. Yeah. Mm. In, okay. the, in the gusset. Mm -hmm. Right. Remember, remember, Linda, what um, May said last week about putting a wee stitch in to, to yes get together. Uh -huh. I know I will. I mean, I wasn't going to do that tonight. I didn't know what you were going to do about photograph because if yeah, I yeah. wanted it on, I wouldn't have been able to put it on. I'm thinking of that, Linda. That's great. So, so I didn't. I didn't do that, but I want. Uh, I left it. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Yeah, I'm delighted. Although I I can see lots of places where. I split the threads and there are kind of rogue threads and odd bits, but it's not going anywhere apart from no. I'm delighted that I managed yeah. to do it because I didn't know if my fingers would allow me to do it. Yeah, yeah. You know, there's enough dexterity mm -hmm. left. So uh -huh. I'm absolutely delighted. Yeah. Oh, well, that's good. Thank good. you very much, me. Yeah, good. You're welcome. Good. Thanks, Linda. Thank you. That's good. Um, okay, so we've got Christina. Hello, Christina. I'm going to ask you to unmute, Christina. Can you hear? Hello. Hello, we can hear you, yes. Okay, good. So, May, thank you very much for doing this. Um, I've been having a lot of fun. Great. I have a problem. So, it's on the fingers. I start my fingers. And it says to go to row nine. I've done, um, I've done my, my four and then one and then four, right? Down to my last stitch. But shouldn't I have two rows of black before I go into my next divide for my fingers? Yeah, well, yes. Um, when, you, when you knit your hand, you when you get to, to this point here at the fifth, fifth pattern, mm -hmm. you'll knit one round of black and you carry your white across the back. On the second black. Sorry? Do I do it on the second black? No, well, you can. I always do it on the first black round, but you can do it on the second if you miss doing it on the first. And okay. you carry it across um three patterns three blocks drop it and complete that round in black and then on the second black round you only knit across three blocks and then you start to take stitches off your fingers okay the, so then the, that's in the middle of the second black round right so blocks. then uh, when i'm doing my second finger I'm picking up my black. Yes. And, and okay. you, you'll complete the second um, black row when you pick up your fingers. Right. 
Okay, so I have to on these. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to say hello to all those people in Sankar because I have a small connection to Sankar. Oh, great. Yeah, so my mom and dad were, grew up in Sankar. How did they? That's oh, a, yeah. a connection. <laughs> so my mom was a McCready and my dad was a Smith. Oh, great. Great. Smith, yeah. with, Smith with an I? Yes. Yeah, yeah, great. Great. Yeah. Yeah. That's exciting. And where do you live now, Christina? I live um, just outside, like down in southwestern Ontario, just outside of um, Lake Huron. Yeah, lovely, lovely. Mm -hmm. And I'm a WI member. Great, great. Yeah. Great. And do you have anyone here in Sankar now or not? The last person was my grand who had died. Yeah. Um, but there is still family members, like second cousins. Mm -hmm. So, um, I don't know if, if Osborne McMinn's still living. I don't, I don't know the same role. Yeah. So, yeah. Mm. McMinn's what? or um, used to be Tommy Douglas. All right. Yes. I, well, I, I know his widow. Well, his widow is my mom's first cousin or my dad's oh. first cousin. Oh, I right. went to school with my mom. <laughs> Brilliant. Lizzie Douglas is her name. Yeah, she's, yeah. So her, she was a McMinn. Yes, that's right. right. Yes. yes. So yes. my dad was related to the McMinn. All right. Well, her yeah. brother's still, still in Sankra too. Is she? Oh, good. good, good. All right. All right. Thank you. Great. Small world. Yeah. Small world, isn't it? Mm hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Christina. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'm going to go to Sybil now. Hello, Sybil. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. Good. Good. I'm chuffed as well. Oh, look at oh that. very good. Thank very good. good. The initials. The only problem I had was picking up the stitches at the yeah. thumb. Mm. And it, it's not. It's not very neat, but the mm -hmm. idea is there. I finished up using a crochet hook. Uh, did you? <laughs> couldn't get the couldn't get the wool to come through. But that that's maybe something that I meant to say when I was telling you about lifting the stitches. If you have a problem lifting stitches, put a second needle into the, the stitch, and then knit it with your first needle. Ah, uh, right. Okay. And your your wool will come through easier then. I should have said that the last time, but it's out of my head. Well, I, I, use, I, use two needles, put one into the into the stitch, uh -huh. and use the second one to knit it. Right. Okay. I shall try that because these are just these yeah, are just perfect. experiments. So I've got my oldest daughter's initials on there, oh, okay. and on the other hand, I'm going to put my younger daughter's initials on. Okay. All right. So that's that's right. They're my pair, and then they're my experimental gloves. Oh. Oh. Is that is that like having a tattoo and like for you know if a lady of a certain age you you just put your initials on your glove rather than on your arm you know I should have thought better about it because this is the left hand with R uh -huh. and the right hand will have L uh -huh. oh. Oh. right <laughs> because the other initials are L A P so but thanks very much to me because it it's it's um, been a challenge and I've learned to yeah. knit with two hands. So are you, going to, are you going to knit another pair? Yes, well, I've started the second, oh, yeah. second one to match this one, uh -huh. and then two more pairs to do. Well, another one in this color, which is purple. Yes, yeah, nice. Purple. Yeah. yeah, purple. Oh, yeah. Blue oh, right. blue. And the other one, the other pair on the tin red, red oh. and cream. Yeah, nice. The other door. Yeah. So, but I can only do a little bit at a time because yeah. the hands go, they tend to, yeah. I've got to watch. Uh -huh. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Great. Thanks. Thanks, Sybil. That's lovely. Um, I'm going to come to Avis now. Hello, Avis. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Oh, I'm so, chuffed the bits as well, Neil. Oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> and it fits. Hey, okay. well, getting on. No problem. Look. Oh, that's great. <laughs> that's great. Excellent. 
The only problem I had, and you've, you've answered it because that is a lady asked, was picking up these stitches uh -huh. at the thumb. Yeah. And I had it out and in and out and in <laughs> six times, and I still couldn't get it right. Mm. So I picked up what I had and I carried on, and for some reason it's like that. Mm -hmm. That's fine. That's fine. I think there's maybe a couple of extra rows in it somehow, but I thought it's going to be in the inside of the thumb. Exactly. exactly. Nobody will see it. Nobody will see it. So and you had your wish. <laughs> don't tell them. <laughs> well, when it comes to the second one, try it with two needles. Yes, I, I, I will. Uh, yeah. uh -huh. mm -hmm. I, I was. Yeah. I, I've got enough to muddle with my needles. I was kind of trying to pick up the, the the stitches, but I was working back the way instead of working forward. Yeah. And I was picking them up backwards, but. And I'm started the second one. And I've got that much of the cup done. Mm -hmm. It's been a challenge, yes. but it's a challenge I've always wanted to try. So yeah. thank you, yeah. me. Oh, I've enjoyed it. Yeah. And I'll carry on and do the, do the next one. And we'll see how the next one goes. If it's better than this one, I'll net another one. <laughs> So that I'll have a, a decent pair. Yeah. <laughs> Very decent. A, a Sunday, a Sunday pair. And you'll, yeah. have them, you'll have them ready for the Federation show. <laughs> oh, it's not to 2022. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's been cancelled again. Uh. So it's not to 2022. So you might be lucky. Yeah. Plenty of time. You've plenty of time. Plenty of time. Yeah. <laughs> No, I've really enjoyed it. And then when I got it done, I tried it on. I thought, oh, that's great. Oh, great. Okay. Chuck the bits. Great. Yeah, I'm yeah. chuck. Mm -hmm. So it's all thanks to you, me, and, and your pattern. And it, it's very explicit if you read it yeah. properly. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I think, I think and I, I'm guilty of doing this as well. If you take a pattern and you sort of read it and you think, oh, well, this is what it should be. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. And I'm guilty of doing that. And then you find that it's not what you think. No, that's you right. You have to empty your mind and just look at the pattern and just go with that. Mm -hmm. No, no, think that to, that you, you know it. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Great. Yeah. No, it's been grand. Great. Great. Well done, Avis. See, Avis, at the start, you were going, oh, mm -hmm. no, I don't know if I'm going to get this. You know, and look at, look at you. <laughs> I picked up the pattern, no bother, mm -hmm. and I knew kind of the, which pattern had to be where. And then when you get to the fingers and you think, <laughs> there's two together there of the same, that right. <laughs> <laughs> but it's right. <laughs> Great. Well, well, I was very chuffed today when I finished it this morning. I thought, oh, and even the, the top of the thumb worked too better. Mm -hmm. Um, well, there, there are no bad, but this should just seem to all fall into place. Mm -hmm. And I was quite pleased with that. Good. Good. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see how things go with me. Yeah. Uh, yes, yeah. I'll be picking up. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Amy. You'll be having a good examination of it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Thanks very much, Avis. That's great. Um, Jennifer, you've got you've got a question, yeah? Oh yes, I must be very very thick about this because everybody else seems to have got it, but I'm at the top of page six. I've just done the the one pattern and the two black rows, and then it says let one complete pattern alternating the blocks. Well, I can understand that if block A was the first one, block B's got to be the second one. But I don't know how to start block B. I don't know where to start. I don't know where on the pattern I start block B. You know, do I do one B, three white, three black? What do it's, I do? It's directly above the block below. Yeah. Directly above it. You do two black rounds and then directly above that in line you you do your block b and then block a 
yes, I understand that, but mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know which block B is. I don't know how to let block B. I'm sorry. I'm being really, really no. thick about this. It's not if you go to um, page thirteen in the pattern. Thirteen. Yes. <coughs> oh, right. Oh, but it's the graph. That yes. Bit. Yes. That shows you block A and block B there. Oh, I don't know if I can understand that. So in the first. In the first round, you'll have done, say, you have done block A, block B, block A. Yeah. And that, that's from, if you look at the, the graphs, you can marry it up with what you've knitted. Right, so I really just have to count those squares and work out how to do it. Yeah. Yes, yes. Uh-huh. Okay. In, in the second, and when you go to the second lot of block, You'll do block B first. Yeah. And then block A. And then block A. And so and in between. Sorry. You I'm going to alternate them. Alternate them, yeah. yeah. Yes, I can understand that part. I just couldn't work out how to knit block B. <laughs> that was all yeah, I couldn't yeah. understand. Well, so in, if you in between that graph, it might help. Right. So in between each block, you do two black stitches, is that right? Yes. yes. And if you go to um, page 14, over overleaf on page 14, it shows yeah. you there what the block placements are. Say that again, sorry. On page 14. Yeah. Uh, at the top, it shows you where the block placements are. Yes. Yes, I can understand how the blocks work. It was just I couldn't understand how to knit block A and how to not knit block B. But I can, yeah, I think I've got it now. I just need to go by the graph. That's the best way, isn't it? If that, if that helps, yes. I think so. Yeah. If not, I'll be giving you another shout. <laughs> <laughs> and and the, the other thing is, we should have 99 stitches. Is that right? Mm-hmm. At, at that point, yes. 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 Right. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. And so you really just knit, you know, you have two blocks over the thumb gusset, but yes. it really just follows mm-hmm. on right round mm-hmm. the gusset. Well, you'll find that there's two blocks together the same. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes, I saw that. Mm-hmm. At, at that point. Uh-huh. But, but the, the, blocks, the blocks work all the way round, but yes. there's two blocks the same, yes. Yes. And when, when you take your, your stitches off for your thumb, it will reduce to 88 stitches. 88? Yes. Okay. Right. Because you take two blocks off, which removes 22, but you cast on 11. You cast on one block. Right. And that, uh, that brings you back to 88. Okay. 88, that's fine. Right. And 88 going into the hand. And, and, and then you, you sort of, I'm going to do the mittens because I don't think I can cope with fingers. Oh. Right. And um, so I would oh. knit all that and then go back to the thumb. Yes. Yeah. yes. Right. Some people like to do their index finger um, and then do their thumb next and then do the other fingers. But if you're doing a mitten, you're going to finish the hand of your mitten and then do the thumb after that. At the end. Yeah. Right. Okay. I'm just trying to make it easy for myself because I'm, sometimes I just have a mental block with it sometimes. Mm-hmm. Um, so, right. That's been a big help. Thank you very much. Okay. I think, I think you're you're probably not alone there, Jennifer. I think quite a few people had a mental block. Especially, oh, well, uh, especially thank you for your reassurance, yeah. then. <laughs> so so well done, well done. And I, quite, not so yeah. far. It's quite yeah. good. Yeah, yeah. And I and I think the mittens look wonderful. So I'm sure they'll look great when you finish. Yeah, they'll be fine. Yes, great. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank, thank you. you. Uh, Susanna. I'm going to come to you now. Hi, Susanna, you got a question? Hi, yeah. Hello. Yeah, I, um, so that's mine. Oh, fab, there we go. I'm just lovely. about, um, well, I was about to start row uh, block five, but when I tried it on today, I felt like actually those four blocks were enough for my hand. Am I just being lazy? Do you know, it felt like that that was enough. If I did another block, it was going to be too long. So, are you are you doing mittens or gloves? 
well, I was hoping to do gloves, although I'm suddenly thinking maybe I'll just do mittens. Look, I'll try it on. So it feels like it's up there already. And if I do another, I've, I had just done the first row of the fifth block and I feel like it's, that's enough. Yeah. Well, it's the and then I could start the fingers. I mean, what I'm saying is, have I got a short hand or do I knit long? Well, it certainly looks as if it's at, at that point for, for doing your fingers. Uh -huh. you, you, could, um, you could start your fingers now, but you've got to remember that your blocks will alter when you go into your fingers. Okay, all right. So, so then I would have to swap it all around. Because, you, because you're a block short, it's going to alter the blocks uh -huh. on every finger. So maybe I should just carry on. Well, when, when, I mean, you, did that, yeah. when you did that just now, it looks as if it's going to be short. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I could, yeah, because I, I pulled it down a bit. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm just being lazy. Okay, so that was that was one question. Also, I thank you for that. Also, I and I did manage to do it. I think I'm not used to knit. I've never knitted gloves before. I wasn't quite sure how to to cast on. Oh, I wasn't. Something's right. Some, someone's uh, making a noise. Is it yours? Oh, yeah. Um, to cast on the. Uh, the after after you finish the thumb the thumb to to recast on to start in the middle I, I I looked up something online and I did manage to do it but the stitches were were very tight the um, backwards loop cast on uh, you just um, are you going to use your uh, iPad me yes uh -huh. I'll okay. put it on. Sorry, ladies. I hope ever. I just thought maybe other people are just about to get to this stage. But what are you doing? What are you sorry doing? if I'm going. Oh, useful. Hopefully, good. As long as I'm not going over stuff that's already been covered. No, no. Um, right. right. Hang, hang on a sec, me. One sec. One sec. Then I'll get the. Okay. Okay. That's you. What What, what you do is you just put a loop on. Uh -huh. Just like that. And don't knit it. Just lay a loop okay. on. Like that. Is that what you did? But yeah, with but with the th yeah, yes, I think your your thumb is being hidden by my speak my view, but uh, well I just So that's right. Thumb. Yeah. Just lay the loop on. That's and fine. That is what I did. But, I mean it was quite tight, so should make maybe for the next Glove, I'll just not pull them so tight. Yeah. Um, and what, what happens is you'll knit them on the next round. The, the next time okay, you yep. round, you'll, you'll knit them. Yep. Yep. And so that's what I did. So that's fine. I know that that now that that's right for the next yep. one. Yep. So that's, that's great. Thank you. And just a final quick question. I had thought about maybe on the other glove doing. Um, the date, like the year, instead of initials. Yes. Does anybody ever do that? Is that possible? Can you? Do you think it can fit into that space? Yes. Are you going to do the date and no initials? No initials. I was just going to do like twenty twenty one. That'll be fine. That'll be fine. Okay. Yes. yes. Okay. That's so, so do do people ever do that? I just sometimes. Yeah. I once knitted yeah. a pair, pair, uh, two pairs of gloves for, for a couple who came to Sanka and on the, they were celebrating a special anniversary and they had initials on both pairs, but they also had a date on both pairs as well. That, that would be lovely, yeah, that, so that would be lovely. Possible. Yeah. Right, I'll work out, and do you think I would find a pattern or maybe I'll just work it out. Or, or find a, a graph for that online somewhere for the for the numbers. Uh, there, there should be. There's, there's plenty of alphabets around. It's, um, so, I so don't it should have, have the numbers. In this pattern, but yes, yeah. there's plenty of that around. Yeah. So we can, we can do it. That's great. That's really helpful. And thank you for all your help. I can't believe I've actually got this far. Yes. I thought when I first got the needles, I thought I'm never going to be doing this. So thank you very much. Thank you, everyone.
Brilliant. Thank you, Susanna. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Okay, so I think that's it. That's it for, for people who've put their hands up. Has anyone else got a question that they want to ask or a comment to make? Oh, hang on. Two people have put their hands up since I said that, right? Okay, good. So <laughs> Nancy, Nancy, I'm coming to you. You need to unmute Nancy, okay? Uh-huh. Thank you. Hello. Right. Hi, me. Hi. Right, you showed us some lovely gloves the last time and they had a double cough. Yes. A red double cough. Yeah. Wait, how would you do that? Um, right, just give me a minute and I'll, I'll get them. Wait. <clears throat> right, these ones. Yes. Uh -huh. <clears throat> what you have to do is that you take um, a very much bigger needle. I used the size 11 needle. All right. Mm -hmm. And you uh, cast on um, half the number of stitches that you need for the pattern. Okay. And you knit maybe about four rounds uh, in black. Mm -hmm. And then you do your required length in your contrast. And then you um, transfer them onto a finer needle and double the number of stitches on the fine needle. Say you had 20 stitches round in your contrast, you would double it to 40. So you would increase after every stitch. Right. Then, right. then you knit your, the cuff as it would be for the outside. Um, fastening all the ends that you have, and then you have to double it, turn it inside out. Mm -hmm. Take your size 11 needles and lift 20 stitches round uh, your cast on edge. So that right. you, you actually mm -hmm. have two sets of stitches, one at either end, it's like a tube. Right. Then double it up double it mm -hmm. over, wrong sides together. And with the fine needle, the fine needles, um, you that's the one that you're going to knit on. Knit your first stitch off the fine needle and on the next, uh, the second stitch, you take one needle, one stitch from your fine uh, needle and one from your bigger needle so that you knit them together. Right, to join them. Uh -huh. And then you you do you take the two stitches together every second time, and that brings it together into the double cuff. Right. I don't suppose there's instructions written down somewhere for that. Right. There's instructions on the SWI Shepherd's Play pattern. Shepherd's Play, right? It's the Shepherd's Play pattern, and the and the instructions are are in that pattern for for that double cuff. Right. That's lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Hey, thanks, Nancy. Thank you. Um, Kirsten, you've got a question, yeah? Yes, thank you. Hello, um, like everybody else, I'm really enjoying it. I've got as far as a finger. Great. Um, but I'm, I'm, my tension is far too tight. And um, I'm a bit worried because I, I struggle to get it on. So I think I sh I'll maybe go up a needle size for my next one. Mm -hmm. However, any advice for finishing them off? Because normally if I'd knit something, I would wash it gently in, in lukewarm water and then I'd maybe press it. But what do you do to finish the gloves, May? What would you advise? Well, I, I tend not to wash them, but if you want to wash them, I mean, there's nothing to say that you can't. And then, right. then you would um, sew in all your loose ends and at the bottom of the fingers, where you see there's maybe a wee hole where you, you have lifted and joined the separate fingers. Just draw it gently together with on the wrong side with your, your darker rule. And then uh, you can just leave it at that if you want. But if you want to um, make it slimline like this, you would 
fold in the extra patterns the in, on the insides of the fingers where yeah. the, the knee gusset is. Fold it from the gusset to the top like an inverted pleat. Yeah. That's on two fingers and then on your third finger and pinky on the inside, just fold it right round. Fold it in. Like oh, right. right. So fold the fingers in. Yes, just that extra pattern. Right. Okay. And on the, on the thumb, on the outside edge, you, you do fold it in right up from the gusset there, right to the top. And put, ah, right. So, so put, a, put a big stitch in, just like a big over stitch to, right, hold, so it, okay. to hold it. And uh, what I do is I put a pressing cloth on top and I, I steam it with a steam iron. Not too much pressure, but just enough to, to dress it. Right. So, do, so do you put the stitch in at the bottom? So I've got my wee thumb gusset. Uh -huh. Is the stitch in at the bottom of the thumb gusset? Just in, in well, that bit? Well, you would just do an over stitch right from the top, right down where it's folded in, just to anchor it before you press it. Right, okay. I would have an over stitch right from there to here. Uh, I'll, I'll have to look at that once I've done my thumb then, I think. Yeah, but you don't need to do that that if you don't want to, if you're happy with it as it is. Maybe it's, just so it's so tight, I don't know that I've got enough <laughs> fabric to do that. Mm -hmm. I'm worried that if I caught anything in, it just wouldn't, I wouldn't manage to get my thumb in that bit, so. Right, it's only no. an overstitch that you, you then take out once, yeah. you, once you've ironed it. Yeah, so oh, you hold right. it, you iron it, yeah, yeah. It, it's That's only so there to anchor it while you're pressing. Mm -hmm. Right, okay, so I could take it out. You just take it out once you've pressed it, but you're left with a bit of well, leave, leave them for two or three hours. So yeah. It, it sets, and, and yes, once you take it out, your pleats, pleats there. Right. Well, and, I'm and glad you will, said you don't need to wash them because I was worried about them felting. I, I don't time. wash them, but I, I don't wash them, but you can if you want. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much, me. Okay. really enjoyed it. Thank you. Good. Good. Thanks, Kirsty. That's great. Give my love to Lamlash. I lived in Lamlash for about a year. So that's uh, that's I like Lamlash a lot. I, I will do. Susanna I and I are both in Marin, so yes. I lived <laughs> along at Coughlin's Point. Which is beautiful it? part. Yes, yes, yes. Lovely. Thank you. Thanks, Kirsty. Um anyone get any more questions or should we uh not now I don't think so. I mean, have you got any uh, any exciting tales to tell us about Sankar knitting? <laughs> well, um, I thought I, I I did some of the the patterns, the different patterns last week, and mm -hmm. I thought I would do the rest of them tonight. Great, just to to whet your appetite. Yes. <laughs> Well, Ev Evelyn, Evelyn Leth uh, Letham uh, is saying, uh, just to say what a lot of clever ladies, I've failed in everything, just starting my lioness blanket with correct weight of wool. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Evelyn, at least you had a go. <laughs> right, I, I covered the, the uh, juke pattern last week, and I, I talked about the... The, the different versions, one had uh, an extra block in them uh, to the other, but there's actually a third one that um, I've taken off my display board to show you tonight. Mm -hmm. but this, is, this is the one that is that, what you're knitting. This is the one that you're knitting mm -hmm. at the moment. This is, this is the one that's the SWI pattern and it's got the extra block. To look at them at this point, you don't look any different. Mm -hmm. the, the extra pattern is actually up the outside of the block here. Mm -hmm. But this third one, um, I don't know where it has come from, but it actually has the thumb uh, tagged on the side. Mm -hmm. It's actually knitted on the side as opposed to being knitted into the, the body mm -hmm. of the glove. Yes. 
Mm. And this actually is a glove that could be worn on either hand. Oh. Ah. It's, uh, and it facilitates the wear on either hand so that it, uh, you can spread the wear a bit. Mm. Mm -hmm. So that that's just a wee quick. Mm. And is that is that um, as a complete layperson may is that easier to knit because it's it it looks like it might be easier to knit to me, but I might be completely wrong. I don't know. Just the thumb. <laughs> <Just the thumb. laughs> it's a long time since I did I did this one. Um, I did it for for a for a display. Yeah. At some point. And then the inside bit here is just uh, a block of one and one. Oh yes, yeah. Yeah. So it just, just shows a wee bit of interest in that. Yes. Right. This one here. Right. Can I get my... mm -hmm. I was so organized earlier on. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> here we go. Um, this one here is called the Glendine pattern. Oh, yes. Now, this one here, uh, there was a man called Robert Nevison and he was a native of Sanka, and he began his career in the British Linen Bank in the town. As a young man, he went to join the staff of the London and Westminster Bank. In 1887, he founded the firm of R. Nivison and Son Stockbrokers. In 1914, he was made a Baronet of the United Kingdom, and in 1922 was raised to the peerage taking the title Lord Glendine of Sanka. Oh. At that time, Miss Jessie Wilson of Sanka knitted a pair of gloves, which she sent to Lord Glendine using two chosen squares from old samples and called it the Glendine pattern. Yeah, that's great. So that's, that's the Glendine pattern. Lovely. There's, there's a, a lot of patterns that we don't know anything about the history. And there's actually three patterns that don't have names, oh. even have names. This one here is the drum pattern. Yeah, that's great. Uh, it's ve very like the, the rose pattern. The rose pattern has a solid block in the center of the squares. Mm -hmm. This one has a, a contrasting stitch. Yes, yeah. We don't know anything about the history of that one. And then there's the drum and trellis. Yes. That's nice. And the cornet and drum. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, nice. And we don't know anything about these, these ones. And this one, now this is the the last of the squared ones, it is it has hasn't even got a name. Mm. It's an unnamed pattern. Great. Yeah. <clears throat> um the fleur de lis pattern. Now this is the, the fleur de lis. Oh yeah. Oh, you, can, you can actually see it when when you when you look at it. Yeah. Yeah. During the Napoleonic Wars, French prisoners prisoners were billeted in Sanka. Mainly officers and their servants were stationed in and around the town, as were a lot of places at that time. The home woods situated about one mile from Sanka was a favourite walk and a pool there is still called the soldier's pool. Mm -hmm. 
the last prisoners left in 1815. As the fleur de lis was the national emblem of France, it is reasonable to assume the knitters and weavers of that time copied the pattern. Mm -hmm. Interesting. That's the fleur de lis. Uh, Peasant's eye. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it does look like a pheasant's eye. <laughs> we, we, we don't know anything about the, the origins of this pattern either. It's the same design exactly as the bird's eye and pattern in Cumbrian knitting. And it's sometimes referred to as the bird's eye and the Sankar pattern. The pheasant's eye or the bird's eye. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Now this is an unnamed pattern, this one here. Oh yeah. Oh. Now, nothing is known about this pattern, but the shapings of the glove itself are in ingenious in their simplicity. The glove is knitted with no shaping, until the required length is reached to the base of the thumb. Mm -hmm. Which is here. Mm -hmm. then, uh, then stitches are taken off and the equivalent number cast on to replace them, thus creating an opening for the thumb. The glove is then knitted until the base of the fingers is reached and then the fingers themselves are knitted. Mm. And you go back to the thumb and the stitches are lifted, which in essence results in an area too wide for the thumb. You can actually see it mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. So decreases are worked until the required width for the thumb is reached. Then it is completed in the normal manner. Mm. So that you can see that the shaping for the thumb there, mm -hmm. which is, you can see the decreases there brings it into the, the width that you need. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This one here is another unnamed one. We actually have this one, it's it's unnamed again. Uh, there is a copy of a newspaper cutting from the 19th century, which is believed to refer to Edward VIII, then the Prince of Wales. And it says, a fashion note for our nuts, K-N-U-T-S, it says. Fashion and other gossips in the press have been making a great fuss about the Prince of Wales introducing a new kind of glove on Saturday when hunting. I am able to reproduce here for the benefit of my male readers a photograph of the actual glove which our fashion expert for men describes as sanker pattern in black and white. They can also be had, he adds, with the diamond on the black on the back in red or blue. Mm -hmm. And an added feature of this glove are the veins in the back of the hand. Oh, yes, yeah. Oh. Right. So did you say that, that, that when, when was that cutting that you read out from there? Um, the 19th century. Yeah, so, because um, uh, not when you spell not with a K, that's a, that's a, that's a um, Norwegian name. You know, right. it's a it's a it's a Christian name in in Norway, right. and it, and a lot of the a lot of the uh, a lot of knights from Norway were called Knut. So maybe there's a connection there. Yeah, well maybe, maybe. Hmm. And the last thing I have here is what I spoke about last week. Well, the last meeting was the sock pattern. Mm -hmm. Wow. 
Oh, wow. Oh. Yes, it's exciting. Yeah, that one. Mm -hmm. That's lovely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's actually just a bigger version of the shepherd's clay pattern. Yeah. But that, that's the stock pattern. Mm -hmm. Very smart. Yeah. So it's, Karen's it's, asked me, Karen's asked uh, Canada Karen. Has asked, is there going to be a, is there a museum or, or a permanent exhibition? There, there is a, a sank, there's a section on sanka knitting in the Sanka Museum. Mm -hmm. And there's a small section in the Dumfries Museum as well. Mm. But if you go to the Future Museums site. Yeah, it's great that site, it's isn't it? That site, yeah. uh, which covers Dumfriesshire and Ayrshire. Mm -hmm. the, the comprehensive coverage of Sanka knitting in there. Yeah. Does yeah. everybody know that site is Future yeah. Museums? It's mm -hmm. very good. It's got collections from all sorts of museums. It's like a virtual museum, um, but it's very good. It's particularly good for burns as well. Mm. All right. Futures Museum. No, just fu Future, like singular Future Museum. Down. And it's very comprehensive. Uh, as you say, Pauline, it, it covers loads of stuff. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a comprehensive uh, coverage of the, the Sanka mission in there yeah. and about the history of it as well. Yeah, they're very good on the, they've got good descriptors, haven't they? Yeah. Yeah. Great. I think we've got a question from Susanna again. Yeah, Susanna? Me, me, me with my questions. Uh, first of all, did you knit all of those? Yes. <laughs> that's, that's amazing. That's a lot of work. I, I, was, I, was, I was invited to go to a folk life festival in uh, Washington. Um, How were you? In 2003. And I had to put the, the display together for that. So that, that was when I, I, there's only one, one of each pattern. Uh, one glove, so there's not a pair. I didn't have time to knit a pair at that oh, time. No. But uh, there's, a, there's one of every pattern. Yeah. Mm, that's amazing. And also, what ha has occurred to me when I've been knitting, and maybe, sorry if somebody else has asked this, that when they were originally knitted, it would have been pure wool without nylon. And I did wonder whether in the old days the wool would break more often, which must have been annoying. Well, the, when the first started off, we were knitted knitted in a yarn called Drugget. Um, a, a wee note about Drugget here somewhere. Drugget is a coarse woolen fabric, felted or woven, self-coloured or printed on one side. Formerly, Drugget was a sort of cheap stuff, very thin and narrow, usually made of wool or half wool and half silk or linen. It may have been corded, but is usually plain. The term is now applied to a coarse fabric, having a cotton wart and a wool filling, used for rugs, tablecloths, etc. Where the Sanka knitting was concerned, drugget was used in the making of carpets, there being a carpet making mill on the outskirts of Sanka at that time and the yarn was obtained from here to knit the gloves and stockings. So it would have been quite strong, stronger than ordinary wool. I think yeah. so. it, ha it had the feel of a, a cotton yarn now. Mm -hmm. well, that's the nearest to it now, I think. Uh -huh. mm. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Susanna. Very good. Uh, I think Jennifer, Jennifer's got a, a question mm -hmm. as well. Yes, I have. I know it was mentioned right at the beginning that this wool, can you see it? That was better, maybe. Yes. Has a little bit inside. Yes. But are those two balls of wool enough to knit a pair of gloves? Well, they should be. Should be. I, I, can't, I can't guarantee it because sometimes things alter with people's tension and, and, and things like that. But there should be. If you were talking about were you talking about doing mittens? Sorry, could you say that again? Were you talking about doing the mittens or not? The mittens, yes. No, there should be enough for mittens. There should be, that's yeah. right. Because I just suddenly felt it the other day and I thought, oh, I can't remember what was said about that. Mm -hmm. And I was just wondering if I should order more, but 
We'll wait and see. <laughs> Brilliant. Thank you. So any more questions on the, on the history side? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who um who has who's done more than one hand now? Hands up if you've done more than one hand. Oh. <laughs> Everybody's laughing. One <laughs> 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 Everybody's laughing. That was that was the wrong question to ask, wasn't it? That was the wrong question. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Nancy, you've you put your hand up, Nancy. Have you done more than one hand? Nearly. Nearly, good. Nearly. I've got. Oh, that's. Uh -oh. A... oh, nice. No taxes. Very good. So, I've still to go back and do the thumbs. Yeah. I, I'm avoiding the thumbs just now, <laughs> but I'm nearly at them. <laughs> that's great. That's great. Well done. That looks good. Yep. Yes. Uh, it does. Uh... Can I just ask? The, I knitted on fourteen size fourteens, and they seem a bit big. Do you think I should go to a fifteen the next time? How how do they feel when you have them on? Roomy. <laughs> <laughs> your 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 tension well it hasn't obviously it has improved from when you start. So mm. I would maybe try a, a 15. Try a pair of 15. Right. right. Try it and see. Right. Yeah, push them. That might help. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks. Thanks, Nancy. Thank you. Um, let's have a look. Let's, shall, we go, shall we go a wee trip round and see how everybody's getting on? If they're, they're too shy maybe to, to, to show us just for just for for showing us but if i put bounce on you then you'll have to show me won't you mm -hmm. no. <laughs> who have we not seen dorothy have you have you are, are you making yet more well i've, I've done <laughs> lovely <laughs> lovely i've done fingerless ones great on a little tiny one ah. <laughs> and my grandson um, actually downloaded this for me, and that actually gives you all the charts. Oh, cool. Oh, that's the cushion. Yeah, Good the cushion. One. But yeah. what I didn't realise, they're just knitted in individual squares and stitched on. Yeah. Oh, all right. But, but I thought I would be clever. So I've actually... You started the whole thing. It was just playing myself, really. Yeah. But, um, Hold it up again. Hold it up again, Dorothy. Sorry. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah. 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 Colours. Yeah. Maybe not my choice of colours, but it was the only rule I had in the house. Nice. You know, was going to have enough. So it's just a trial and error. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And where did you get that? Where did you download it from? Um, well, one of the first nights a lady had the cushion, um, Judy Farlong. Mm -hmm. Love it crafts. Gives, sorry? Love it crafts. Gives, uh, it gives all the charts and um, whatnot. It's free on Ravelry. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Great. Thank you. And Dorothy, they're, they're lovely. But I'm, I actually had to photocopy it again and cut the bits off to put them in order. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so uh, I need to remember that with an extra one of that each time, you know. Yeah. But, um, that was the only way I was going to keep it mm -hmm. without the bits all flying away. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm quite enjoying doing that. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Well done, Dorothy. Thank you. Um, Margaret, how are you getting on? Margaret's iPad, Margaret. You're on mute. You're on mute, Margaret. Sorry. You're on mute. Do you hear me now? Yes, you do. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I'm yeah. the one that has done Sanger Gloves. Yes. I've done. Yeah, I've done. 
three pair before. Oh, great, yes. Right. Lovely. Uh, this this was uh, wool that I got out the Shetland shop in, in Edinburgh. Oh, yeah. But there was no name on it. It came in a hank, so I don't know what kind of wool it would be. Mm. But it's, lo it's lovely. It's knitted up lovely. Yeah, good. Yeah, that looks good. Good, yeah, they look very good. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. on it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. So you find them fairly, fairly straightforward to do? Yes, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, it was a rural pattern, so yes, I don't know bo no bother. Good, good. Well done. Thank you. Um, Linda McMinn. Hello, Linda. Oh, hello. How are you getting? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I've achieved. Achievement. Oh, lovely. Okay. I'll need to um, go on to YouTube because I missed the last session. Yeah. So they're finishing off. Yeah. And I've I've just started the um, I've got a bit of the cuff done the day. Yeah, great. Great. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's been quite a challenge, but I've enjoyed it. Yeah, good. Thank good. you so much. <laughs> Yeah, guiding us. Yeah, yeah. So how many how many hours does it take to make a pair of gloves then, ladies? <laughs> <laughs> Depends how much ripping out you've to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I how long do you take me to do a glove? 17 hours. <laughs> it takes me 17 hours. 17 hours to do a pair? Wow. Pair? Yeah. <laughs> Right, okay. <laughs> but that—that's over fifty years, nothing. Uh -huh. yeah. Gosh, that's a long time. How many days is that then, May? Do you you don't work for days and days, do you? Oh. No, you do so many hours a day. I, I go, I go to bed and sleep sometimes. I know, yeah. but do you do, do, you, do <laughs> you do what? One hour a day, or two hours a day, or maybe about two or three, maybe. Right, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I tend not to, to do an awful lot of hand hand work through the day. It's usually at night. Uh, right. Do it, yeah. Great. Have you got a special light? <laughs> Have you got a light? Have yeah. you got a big light to do it I, with? I've got a light that sits behind me. Oh, yeah. yeah, so high. Mm -hmm. I've got my light over me. Mm -hmm. yeah. While you're there, Helen, show us what you've show us what you've been up to. <laughs> For me, all right, okay. Uh, I've, I've got one finished. Face on. Oh, it's lovely. <laughs> and one, and a one. Oh, oh okay. and a one covered. Oh. Well, that's uh -huh. good. But my, my first finger was longer. <laughs> I don't know why, because I've not knitted them any different. <laughs> but my first finger's longer than the other ones. I don't know why I've done that. How I've done that. Well, but my tension, will it me? Well, I would think so. Your tension's offering, obviously. But, uh, yeah. Okay. I think this one's working better. I'm managing this one better. I think I think my tension's better in this one than it was in that one. Yeah. Uh, well, it will, it will alter the more you do it. And I'm managing the two hands with the scooping and the yeah. thing. Made. <laughs> it makes it a lot easier. It does, doesn't it? It does. Oh. Yes. And I have persevered and practiced. Mm -hmm. Great. I think it's fine. Well yeah. Well done. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm. Thank you, me. Thank you. Good night. <laughs> Thanks, Helen. Thank you. Um, who else has got, got something that they've been doing? Uh, me, me, McDonald. How are you doing, me? That's it. That's it. I'm doing fine, but I've not started yet. I will well start when I get wool and needles. Yes. I'm just listening on that's good that's good <laughs> thank you that's all right what are you knitting me what, what are you knitting if you're not knitting gloves centers for poppies oh nice all right. nice for next year yeah all right all yeah right. yeah lovely is that is that for a local the local exhibition or for the church for the church, yeah. For the church, I think we'll we'll do it in the church for the church. Yeah, lovely. Um, so it was just while I had time being off yeah. work that I'm yeah, yeah. using up. Wheel. Yeah, great, great. 
Great. Thanks very much, me. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, let me go to now to Moira. Moira Murray. Hello, Moira. Hi. Hello. I have just got one finger finished. Very well. Uh, quite Ooh. chuffed up because uh, it's a long time since I knitted gloves. But uh, so I've just, just try and pick up the second finger. So I'm leaving that till daylight. It's um, too dark to try. So, but yeah, so I'm enjoying it. But yes, quite pleased with myself. So, mm -hmm. so. Nice a few wee mistakes. I can see a few wee mistakes, but um, we're not we're not uh, showing them. So no. <laughs> And that's, quite, that's the good thing about gloves. If pe people get too close to them, you can just poke them in the eye so they can't see it anymore. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Maria. That's lovely. Um, yeah. uh, Mo, how are you doing, Mo? Hello, Mo. Oh, I'm good, guys. I'm good. Good. Uh, good. Oh, look at you. Oh, wow. Wow. Very cool. wow. Very nice. Yeah, I don't know how many times that up to I me <laughs> I salute you, Mrs. <laughs> <laughs> Just the star. With all that help, I still did a lot of dipping out and I, I'm I'm really delighted with that. So yeah. Ho great. Hopefully I can finish. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah, great. they look great. That looks good. Well done, Mo. I appreciate um, all the help. Couldn't have done it without it. Yes. Mm -hmm. The tips were good. Yes, good. Good. Uh, Wilma, we've got you to you to answer really for all of this, all of these shenanigans, Sankar shenanigans. So, how are, how are you getting on? I'll be the one that's going slowest. <laughs> that's all right. <laughs> I am um, for various reasons. I've not been able to get on with it, but I'm mean, loving the tips tonight. I have. I'm, I'm going. Can are you? You see it? Yes. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Yeah. Yeah. So I am thoroughly enjoying doing it. I love the pattern and I love all the teaching that I've had prior to this about reading patterns so that to read it exactly. But I just I love the pattern. It's just, and the feeling of the gloves. I've got Raynaud's disease, mm -hmm. which means I have an awful bother with cold fingers in the winter, mm -hmm. which I think was behind my suggesting for this. Yes. But um I just love the pattern. Yeah, I like the yeah. and the, and using the fine needles. It's I just do it at night when I've got my bright light on and I can mm -hmm. see it. But I'm thoroughly enjoying doing it. So mm -hmm. I'll get there. I'll yeah. get there slowly but surely. I'll get there one way or other. I've actually got orders stacking up from other folk in the family. <laughs> They're saying once you've done that, you can, you know. So. Um, I'm hoping to get away in the motor van so I can sit and concentrate during the summer yeah. and, get on, and get on with it. Great. So great. It's great fun. Yeah. Great fun. And th thank you very much, mate. It's super. Yeah. Pleasure. It's great. Thank you. Thank you, Wilma. Well done for starting it all going. Um, uh, Anne Kerr, are you knitting or are you, are you just having a, having a nice... No, I, I'm just watching. Yeah. <laughs> I, thought, I thought you might be. So, <laughs> You're very busy. Yeah, some someday, someday I will attempt yeah. it, but not at the not at the moment. <laughs> I'm in awe of you all. They look yeah. wonderful. Yeah, no, they yeah. look great. Yeah. Yeah. Could I, could I just uh, say, Anne Kerr, you gave me the challenge. Who's that Did, speaking? Who's that speaking? Sandra. Oh, oh Sandra. Sandra. Yeah, yes, yeah, Sandra. Yeah. You oh. gave me the challenge at the SEC. Yeah. Maybe we should challenge you. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't put a time limit on it. <laughs> yeah, thank you, May. It's been wonderful. Uh, yeah. uh, everyone's very appreciative of all your assistance, I'm sure. Yeah. I've got yeah. Great yeah. results. A great feeling of achievement, I'm sure. It's really yeah. super to see everybody holding up a glove. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Yeah, like you were saying, May, it's diff it's you know, it's not the same as being together, but when you can actually make something and you've you've mm -hmm. helped people across this medium, mm -hmm. then that's a that must be a very rewarding thing. So it certainly is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Good. Good. Now Sandra, right. while yeah. you're there, while you're there, show us what you're up to. Well, Thanks I've far. got this far. Got my initial. Oh, oh great. Oh, 
I'm finding it very difficult, and it's a dexterity problem mm -hmm. rather. I keep dropping my needles. I can't feel them in my fingers. Mm -hmm. So I'm finding it quite hard. No problem following the pattern or, or doing gloves itself because I'm used to, I'm used to doing that. But it's just that it's, they're so thin, I can't feel them at the ends of my fingers. Uh -huh. But mm -hmm. I, I persevere, but I think it might be mitts rather than gloves. Sorry, yeah. Anne. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm, I'm doing the, the one that Anne sold me, Midgen Fly Design. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. right. Anyway, that's it. That's as far as I've got. You know, I, I find I can't do it for very long. My hands get just too sore. But mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. I will persevere. Well, I'm, made... sure, I'm sure that'll make it all, all the better when you finish them, Sandra. They'll be, you know. Well, you're... Don't hold your breath. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's great. That's great. Thanks, Sandra. Okay. Um, Shirley, Shirley, are you making some? Yeah. I I am, but I'm very slow. I'm very oh, that's great. That's slow. Great. I'm very yeah. Um, and I, I pulled all the stitches off my needle tonight, so um, oh, no. so I'm picking up. Oh. <laughs> what have you done to your finger? Yeah. Are, are you well, cheating? Are you cheating? You're just putting fingers on your fingers. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, that, that's just. <laughs> That's when I'm picking up. It stops me stabbing myself. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I thought you'd hurt yourself. Um, but it's, so you don't hurt. No, yourself. no. I'm, yeah. But I'll be I'll be years rather than hours. I think. <laughs> <laughs> Doing well. Doing well. <laughs> but, uh, but yes, I'm, I'm I'm enjoying it. It's it's a challenge. Yes, <laughs> it's a challenge. You say through Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> As, as I said on the on the first night, it's does it does not matter how slow you go, as long as you do not stop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I will persevere. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Thanks, Shirley. That's great. Uh, let's see who else. Who else have we got? We've got um, Senior Zavis. I'll go to Selma. Yeah. Oh, Selma again. Hi. How are you doing? Hi, I'm fine. Hello. 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 Can you how see? are you doing? Yes, we can hear you. Okay. How, how are you doing, Selma? Okay. Oh, very good. Oh, very good. Yeah. Well, I'm knitting for a giant, I guess, <laughs> because it's way too big. But I don't care. It's a piece oh. of art, I think. Yeah. Yeah, lovely. I lovely. really like it. I yeah. like the colors as well. Yeah, lovely. Mm. Lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. So. Put it on the wall, maybe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. And thank you, May, because it's a very well written. Uh, 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 how do you say it? Pattern. Pattern. Yeah. yeah. Great. That's good. Thank you. So, Selma, do you have any um, where you live? You have a similar sort of a, 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 knit, a, a traditional knitting pattern where you live? No, we don't no. have. No. No. I live in a, a small village mm -hmm. in Boskov, and it's very well known for um, uh, the, the, the farmers who live here. Well, not really farmers. I don't know the, the right name in English, mm -hmm. but they, they uh, grow trees. Oh, yeah, yeah. And plants, yeah. and, and yeah. they uh, export it all over the world. Mm -hmm. Great, mm -hmm. great. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah, good, good. I just wondered whether you know, because we could all swap swap uh, different different knitting styles from different countries. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. we we don't. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but but uh, yeah, well, we, we have our own way of knitting with mm -hmm. with the needle under your arm. Yes. But now I've learned to to knit continental, and it's so much easier. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah. Good. And and it's easy for Fair Isle working with both hands. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's yeah. fine. Yeah. Great. Great. Thanks very much, Selma. That's lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, let's see. We've got a few more. A few more. Hang on a second. Uh, Susanna, we've seen yours. Sandra, we've seen yours. Anne C. Hello, Anne. 
How are you doing? Oh, I'm still knitting squares. Squares, great. I don't know if you can. I'm still knitting squares. I don't know if you can. Uh, oh, yes, lovely. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Them? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't got very good bandwidth tonight, which I can't actually see anybody else except me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is. I think everybody's just on using the broadband round about me. Yeah, so. I, think, I think that's probably what it is, yeah. And, and sometimes it helps to go back out and then come back in, but then sometimes you can't actually get back in. So that's, you know, yes. that, living, <laughs> living somewhere with limited broadband up in the Highlands, that's, that was often the, often the problem. So you're doing well, Anne. Well done. I will show you the finished cushion of by the summer, maybe. <laughs> yes, that's okay. That's okay. Uh, okay. Um, now, who else? Who else have we got that's got got one one to show? Uh, let's have a look. Ooh. Evelyn, I'm going to come to you. I think I think I've gone to everyone now, but I'm going to come to you because. I, I I liked your I liked your um, chat that said I can't do it. I'm doing my doing my Linus. <laughs> you're, you're on uh, you're on mute though, Evelyn. So are you are you um are you going to going to give it a go or are you just enjoying hanging out? Um, I enjoy just hanging out, but I am going to send for the pattern because I did say to Lynn for yes. president and. Uh, she says, well, when you get the pattern, get one for me as well, which I haven't done it yet. Maybe tomorrow I'll put it on the list. <laughs> yeah, great, great, great. Well, at least you've got a, you've got a bank of a bank of uh, videos to watch that you can go through and go. Oh yes, that's what me says, you know, as well as yeah, brilliant, brilliant. So, um, so ladies, what I'd like you to do now before we leave leave tonight. <laughs> Um, I'd like you all to. Oh no, I didn't go to Anne. Finish, sorry, Anne. I didn't oh, go to you. Okay. Today. I'm going back. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Sorry, I didn't. I missed you. Sorry. Hello. Hello, May. Um, yes, I'm doing. I'm doing okay. Um, uh, lots of the things that people have been saying, I was thinking of saying myself. So there's um, one glove. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh my. Um, so, but it is too big. Um, if I put it on, um, it even if I do like that, I've still got. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, that one's just about right. That one's too big, and that one's too big. So I, I'd be better off with a pattern that just has the mottled at the top wouldn't I? And then I could make it as long as I wanted. Um, because I think it's all right. The palm's, the palm's okay. And the thumb's fine. But it's just the short, stubby fingers that are rubbish. So um, anyway, we'll think about that. But I, and this is my second one. Well done. Good. Well, yeah. um, so it's all going well. Um, I did have to take quite a bit back. Um, on this one because I had got so used to thinking that the beginning of the round was when I was looking at the initials that um, I obeyed the instructions about doing the initials on the last um, needle, needle three. I obeyed that when you first told me to and then I forgot. So mm -hmm. when I got to the end of the initials, I'm looking at the initials again. I'm doing my two rows of black. Okay. <laughs> and then, of course, I went on and I thought, oh, I've got it wrong. And am I going to be able to work it out? And I thought, no, I'm not going to be able to work it out. So I, I had to unrip, which wasn't nice. But there yeah. we are. So um, I, I, I did. I did. I, I did rip it out. Um, I'm finding difficulty, uh, probably just my eyesight, uh, with splitting the wool, uh, which is really annoying because then you find it's caught the next 
time. Um, but uh, the revelation of using continental knitting is, is fantastic, May. I'm so mm. glad you uh, introduced me to that because it really makes such a difference. And I used to do, I used to try Fair Isle um, years and years and years ago um, and gave it up because it was just so slow and, and tight and rubbish. Um, but I, I'm sure if you did Fair Isle with, you know, continental um i don't it's not it's not purely continental because do the continent do continental do they do their pearl with their left hand as well i think so some of them do i think so i think so, so. i've never mastered that one but no so i think we've we're, we're doing a bit of each but it, it seems to work so well you know mm -hmm. one color in one and one in the other and uh, yeah magic so thank you very much um our minister's wife here um just sadly just uh, died um but before that uh, she was um, a great sanka knitter i don't know that she ever had any connection with sanka but she just loved doing them and she did them beautifully and uh, she's well known in the village for her, her knitting so uh, i've always looked at it and thought i'd love to try it and i thought it's too difficult <laughs> but your pattern is fantastic because mm -hmm. if you read it it's uh, it works out Thank you very much yeah. indeed. Yeah. Can, I, can I just add a, a little bit about why the, the left hand and the right hand are different? You, you're talking about the, the initial being at, on the third needle on the right hand, as opposed to being on the first needle. If, if uh -huh. you look at, at up the side, th this is the side that would be on the outside of your hand. This yep. here, there's a little yep. step. There is a step. from one. Yeah. If, if because uh, that that is up here, and if you uh -huh. don't alter the the right hand, it would end up being in there, right. as opposed to being okay. here. Up there. Yes. Uh -huh. so that, that was why that, that's altered. Yeah. No, so that, the that, step that, is that always on the outside of your hand. Yeah. You can't help the step mm -hmm. with the with the. Sewing. No, no. It's it's unavoidable. Yeah, yeah, no, that's great. Thank you. Okay, great, great. So one last, one last uh, thing before I hand up, hand back over to me. Then is I'd like everybody just to for you know, like I said, for the for the magazine. If you all just hold up your hold up your work, and if you haven't got any work to hold up, just wave, and I'll and I'll, and I'll take I'll take a picture of everybody, everybody with all their. All their lovely creations. Oh, touch it that way. So yeah, good. that's great. That's great. Lovely, lovely. Uh, and one more. Whoa, that's great. And one more. <laughs> well, it's just that because you're on two different screens, you see, because I've because I've got you've got quite a few of you. Um, and then one more. That's it. Brilliant. Brilliant. Thank you very much. So I'm going to pass, back to pass back to me. Thanks, me. Well, I don't know that I have really much else to, to say tonight without to launch it into history or something. I don't think we want to do that at this point. But um, as I said, it's, it doesn't matter how uh, show slow you go as long as you don't give up. But, but this other little quote by Womankind by SWI actually appealed to me as well. And I think it could be relevant in this case. Being happy is productive. Yes. Mm. Now, it could also be being productive make you happy. Mm -hmm. I yeah. think that shows tonight, actually. Yes. Mm. Yeah. 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 So well done, everyone. And well done, May. Thank you very much. Okay. Can can I just ask? Have we only got one more session next one week? More session. One more and session. And then and then are we on our own? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> have, have you have you all have you all followed Womankind the Facebook page because there's the Facebook page for Womankind and there's also the group for Womankind by SWI. So if you if you're in the group, if you all go in the group. Um, it means that if you've got any questions, then people can help each other in the group. Yeah. How, how do you go onto the group? Well, if you look up Womankind by SWI group, 
it will come up as a separate thing and then you can join you can you can ask to join and then um, one of us will let you in oh. like, so we close group but it's just um it's quite a nice thing because people can share their share that share you know pictures uh rather than on the page on the page <coughs> sorry <coughs> the page is us showing things to you but the group is you showing things to each other which is nice yeah so um so i would recommend you do that because then there's always going to be someone that can go oh yes i know what to do there because one of you will be on it going because i can't tell you <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I, I, can't, I can't give me his phone number out. <laughs> well, there's your challenge. <laughs> yes, there's my challenge. Yes, no, I, I, my chat. I haven't even knitted anything, so I, I'm, I'm not. That's not my uh, forty, shall we say? So, um, so well done, everyone. I'm very, very proud of you all. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> So thank you very much, me. So let's let's give a big well, big uh, well done to me as well. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. So we'll see you.